Good morning, this is Brian from the ScotCoin support team. This morning I'm going to go through a migration guide from ScotCoin V2 to V3. ScotCoin V2 is currently sitting on the counterparty protocol, which sits directly on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. There's various reasons why we're moving Scotcoin to the Ethereum blockchain as an ERC20 token. The main benefits are lower cost of transactions, faster block times, and an established industry standard means Scotcoin will be faster, more cost effective for everybody in the community. Uh, now, what I'm going to go through is the five pillars guide for our decision making that we've been quoting the last year or so. Now the five pillars are the driving force behind our thinking to move away from the old counterparty protocol on the Bitcoin blockchain to a new ERC20 token. Number one is an efficient and cost effective migration process. Now that will be covered in the next few slides. Number two is a robust blockchain solution. Now the Ethereum blockchain is hosting our new ERC20 token and that is the robust blockchain solution. Number three, an unissued coin surplus for distribution and reward. Now we've got several initiatives to help the disadvantaged in society such as people who are disabled or homeless etc. In addition, people who have been with us on the ScotCoin journey from the start will be rewarded for taking part in early migration activity. Number four, access to regulated secondary markets. The new V3 system has got several uh, new features. First of all is the ScotCoin market. I'm going to quickly show you that. As you can see, there's various goods and services available for sale using your ScotCoin. Now, these are just test images just to show you what it looks like. Also available is our existing exchange service where you can buy ScotCoin V2. I'll just quickly show you that again. Just go to exchange.scotcoinproject.com. You can buy some Bitcoin uh, for the V2 migration to V3. Uh, there are various offers on Scotcoin and the blockchain Bitcoin book uh, written by our very own Temple Melville. Also gift vouchers. And finally, the fifth pillar is a reliable delivery partner assuring durability and longevity. We have engaged with the reliable technology partners based in Scotland to manage the design, testing and migration from V2 to V3. Now what do you need from us to migrate to the new coin? First of all, you need to know your ScotCoin V2 counterparty Bitcoin address. It starts with a number one, it's a series of uppercase, lowercase and numbers. It looks a bit like this. I'll show you how quickly how to get that. You go to wallet.counterwallet.io and you get a hold of your 12 word passphrase. I've got a test one here already set up. You type in your 12 words here or copy and paste it like me. Now there's your Scotcoin V3 V2 address. You just highlight it and copy it and copy that into the form which I'm going to show you in a minute. As I've said, number two is your 12 word passphrase. You need that to be able to access your V2 Scotcoin counterparty address. Now you may have signed up using the one I just shown you, or it could be on the free wallet app. Um, so basically you need a little bit of Bitcoin in your wallet to be able to do the migration from the old V2 system to the brand new V3 token. So you basically just go to exchange.scotcoinproject.com. You see the Bitcoin logo. If you haven't got any Bitcoin, we can send five pound of Bitcoin over to you. If you just fill in the form there. Number three is a very important thing. We need an Ethereum address. 
So you can get one of those by going to one of these two websites, uh, myetherwallet.com or metamask.io. Now, note that uh, this address, this new Ethereum address, is on the new B3 system. You're unable to send Scotcoin B2 coins to this address as it's on the Ethereum blockchain. Therefore, it's incompatible with the current Scotcoin system uh, we use. Once you've registered, you get one of these addresses that starts with 0x. That tells you that's an ERC20 token. Now I'll show you how to get your address from my Ether wallet. You just go to the myetherwallet.com, access your wallet, choose the option for a mnemonic phrase, enter your 12 words, which I've done here. Scroll down a little bit. That's your wallet address there. Accept the terms. Log into your wallet and you can see it here. Copy and paste it or press this button here. And you copy it into the wallet, which you can uh, the migration form here. You will receive an email with lots of information on how to migrate. The link on that email will go to scottcoinproject.com slash migration. The password will be on that email. If you uh, are not sure you're on their mailing list, then email info at scottcoinproject.com to double check so you don't miss out on the migration. Now here's the form when you go to that link. Asks you for your full name, address, email address, telephone number, and it asks you for your v2 wallet address on the counterparty system so we've covered that already it starts with number one you copy and paste that in there you scroll down a little bit it asks you for the quantity to migrate now in this case i've just put in eleven thousand. you could have more than that you could have one million three hundred thousand just put the amount that you've got in there and make sure that all of your scott coin is in one wallet so if you've got Scott coin in various wallets, transfer all into one wallet and give us it in this information here. Make sure it's all in that wallet. Okay, next it asks you for your Ethereum wallet address. I've just shown you how to do that. It starts with 0x. Now it asks you if you've been KYC'd. That means that we may have asked you for a scan of your photo ID which would be a passport or driving license and a scan of your proof of address, which would be a utility bill like an electricity or gas bill or a council tax bill. Now, you can either put yes or no to that, but it's likely you will have to do that again. A third party com company will contact you for that information. Finally, you tick the GDPR compliance. Tick that and press send. All that information will go to us. Then we will be in contact with you with instructions on how to move your Scott coin from B2 to the new B3 token. Finally, any questions, email info at scottcoinproject.com. Visit our social media channels, facebook.com slash scottcoin, twitter.com slash scottcoinproject, or visit our website, scottcoinproject.com. Thank you and have a good day.